Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lily's Libraries. Today, I'll be introducing another book, Holes by Lewis Sacker. Holes is a famous story about a boy named Stanley Yelnats. Because of a supposed curse that was put on his great great grandfather after he stole a pig from a gypsy named Madame Muzironi and didn't keep his promise to the gypsy. Of going up a mountain with her and singing her a song, and because of that, suffers from a lot of bad luck. Stanley is accused of a crime that he did not commit, a one of stealing a pair of extremely famous shoes that belongs to a baseball player. Stanley is sent to Camp Green Lake, which ironically isn't green and doesn't have a lake; instead, is a desert. There, along with other boys, he is forced to dig holes day after day under the warden. The warden of Camp Green Lake claims that all this digging is for character building for the boys, but Stanley soon realizes that it's not true, and that the warden is searching for something in the desert. During his digging, he finds an old lipstick case with the initials. K B on it, and he wonders if it has anything to do with what the warden is searching for. However, he hands it over to another boy at the camp. When the boy asks Stanley what he has found, Stanley wonders if the K B on the case means that the famously dangerous criminal that had lived years before them, Kate Barlow. Is the one who was the owner of the case. Stanley knows about the legend of Kate Barlow, the criminal, because his great great grandfather was robbed by Kate Barlow. While Stanley wonders about this mystery, he makes friends with another boy at the camp named Zero, or Hector Zeroni. Stanley doesn't know that Hector Zeroni is actually the descendant of Madame Zeroni, the gypsy who cursed his great great. Grandfather, a hundred and ten years before Stanley's story, Camp Green Lake actually was a place with a lake. There lived a village of people, including Trout Walker, a obnoxious rich man who thought he could buy everything, and thought that no one could resist him. Along with Sam, the onion man, a man who made, who grew onions and sold them to the village people, and Kate Barlow, a beautiful teacher. Who was generous and kind to everyone? Trout Walker had always wanted to marry Kate Barlow, but he became extremely angry when the teacher refused him, and instead fell in love with the Onion Man. The village people found out that Kate Barlow and Sam were in love, and since the two were different races, Trout Walker and a lot of the village people hunted down Sam and murdered him. In a public execution, Kate Barlow ran away and became a famous criminal outlaw, robbing lots of people, including Stanley's great grandfather. When Trout Walker caught up with caught up with her, and demanded her to tell him and his wife where she had buried her stolen treasure, Kate did not answer, and she died before the secrets to where her buried treasure was was given away. Camp Green Lake stayed as a desert, since ever since after Sam's death, not a single drop of rain ever fell again onto the village. When Zero snaps under pressure and decides to run away from camp, Stanley follows him into the desert, without knowing how both the both of them will survive. The two of them meet each other, and they head towards a mountain, which they see in the distance. Zero collapses during the trip, but Stanley carries him up the mountain, and sings to him a song that was passed down generations in his family, the song that his great great grandfather was supposed to sing to Madame Zeroni after carrying her up the mountain. When he does that, the supposed curse is lifted from Stanley's family. The two of them find. A field of onions up on the mountains, the place where Sam, the onion seller, used to pick all of his onions. They recover their strength 
and return to the camp. Back at camp, they discover the old treasure of Kate Barlow, buried in one of the holes. Stanley is soon proved innocent of the crime of stealing the sneakers, and they find out that Zero is not guilty for any crimes either. The two boys get out of the camp, along with the treasure that they found. After they leave with the stolen treasure, the money that had once belonged to Stanley's great-grandfather, and Trout Walker's descendant, the warden, is stopped from getting their hands on Kate Barlow's treasure. The first time in a long, long wait, a drop of water falls onto Camp Green Lake. Holes is a story of intertwining fate and punishment for cruelty. The theme of fate and destiny is woven very obviously into the story. How Stanley and Zero t- and end up solving the curse that was between their two families. How the crime that Stanley wasn't the blame for was actually the crime that Zero had committed without knowing that it was such a bad thing. How their stories are so closely intertwined with the one of Kate Barlow. And how Stanley's family ends up working with the famous baseball player that Zero had stolen the shoes from. There is also a theme of cruelty and the punishment that you get for it. When the village of Green Lake, because of their racism, executed an innocent person and drove one of their people to insanity. They were punished when a drop of water never fell onto the grounds ever again. Not until way later, 110 years later, in fact, two boys from different families that had started a curse solved the curse, and at the same time solved the curse that was in Camp Green Lake. I thought Holes was a great book with very great storytelling, with how all the stories intertwined with each other, and how the characters were each described. I hope everyone who reads it enjoys it a lot, and reads it more than once, since I enjoy how the plot unfolds every single time I read it. I also recommend a lot of other books written by Lewis Sacker, since he seems to be an extremely amazing writer. There are a lot more of his books which I absolutely love and hope to introduce in the future. This was Lily's Library, and thank you for visiting. Goodbye!